Drake became a three-time two-weight world champion with a hard-earned victory over a very, very tough competitor. And I'm going to pass it over to the floor to ask questions to the new WBO middleweight champion of the world. Talk about the injury. Eddie Herman is talking about injured shoulder. Um, yeah, I had a little, you know, a little injury in my left shoulder. I mean, you know, we did we had to do break down, and we, you know, force him out, and we made it work. <coughs> Thank you. Richard, awesome. congratulations. Can you can you say when you injured your shoulder and, and how bad do you think it is? Um, you know, it's been hurting for <coughs> the whole week. Um, we, we did everything we needed to do, warmed up. And, um, you know, when I really needed to use my left hand, I used it well. And every time I, <coughs> um, you know, figure I can, after my shoulder, we generate <coughs> through the left hand, and I'm the left hands that I put them down. So just to be clear, this was an injury that was before the fight? Yeah, this, it came up this week, yes. So you then just exacerbated it during the fight? Yes. Okay. Uh, and the other thing I want to ask you about, I mean, you put him down four times. You a little disappointed you didn't get him out of there? No, nah, definitely not. You know, I mean, he, he's definitely a tough guy. He was bigger than me, taller than me, longer than me. Um, he's a number two contender. You know, at the end of the day, I did what I had to do. I won, and I believe I made a statement. It was good to see where my power was coming up to the, you know, the 60 um, pound division. And um, you know, I did what I had to do, and it was, it, I think it was beautiful. When I go back and watch it, yeah, I thought he was out the second time, boy. Whoof! That second one, I thought it was done. But, um, he jumps on the road to <laughs> celebrate. Oh yeah, um, you know. Sometimes you think you know, but when you look at it, you're like, damn, he's getting back up. Shit! Lord, <laughs> the hell he in? But um, you know, we just um, in, enjoyed and did what I had to do, and you know, we fought smart, and it was great getting back in the ring after a year layoff, and it was good to get 12 good rounds in. I got one more question for you, Demetrius. I know you were talking the right things before the fight, but now that it's over, can you just talk about how difficult it was to go from a lefty slick like Saunders to a guy like that that's a tree and that's a big puncher? You know, I know that can't be easy to, to make that switch with a couple weeks' notice. Yeah, it's definitely not. <clears throat> And it's hard to find, you know, tall guys like that, long. But, um, you know, it goes back to, like I was saying, you know, my amateur background. Um, you, know, you get on the scale, you fight a guy, there'll be six rings going on, there'll be six fights going on, and you're the fighter that wins next to you. you. You don't know, you just hear his name, and then boom, you're back in the ring the next day. So, that being said, that helped me out tremendously, and I have a good corner, a good team. My dad, Paul Andre, the best kept, best trainer out here. Um, you know, Adam Pina, Shariq Mendes, Snack, Victor Conti, and everybody that's, you know, has great experience in that corner guided me and let me know what I need to do in that fight, and also my IQ. Demetrius, <coughs> congratulations on the win. Um, what would you like to do next? Would you like to do a voluntary defense or go for a unification bout? You know, we're going to sit back and see how the timelines run. You know, people are fighting, people need to rest. Um, it will, I think it would be good to, you know, get back in the ring and get another good 12 rounds because, like I said, I have been inactive for a year. I, I stepped up to fight Billy Joe. He wasn't here. So, um, you know, we're going to sit back and see what the, what's the right moves to make because that's what it's all about nowadays. You know, it's making the right move and um, I'm here because I made the right move. And so I'm going to stick to the game plan and, you know, see how it goes. Demetrius, uh, with Canelo Alvarez signing to the zone for five years, how excited are you about the possibility of possibly facing him in the future? Oh, great, great, you know. Um, definitely, the zone is definitely the way to get in the zone, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, uh, it's just, it's just um, the middleweight division is here, and I'm part of it, and I'm going to be able to make pop, make history here, so... Is Canelo is the face of boxing, and if I want to be that, you know, I have to get in the ring with him. And him being here has given me the opportunity to make that happen. And I think as I keep winning and people see, you know, the skills and talents that I do have and what I possess and I'm, uh, I stay more active, people will want to see that fight. And Boo Boo, just how does this moment feel after all the difficulties you went through in your career to, to finally get to middleweight, be on a big fight, and, and win the world title, and have the everything ironed out, the promoter situation. How does this feel right now? It's good, you know. I got um, fresh air in the tires. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm ready, I'm motivated all over, and it's time to get the gears in, in motion. And like I said, this it was good for me to get 12 rounds, you know? If I didn't stop him, I didn't stop him. I, I seen that he was tough. Um, you know, it was good to get the 12 rounds just to see where I'm at and what we need to work on. But I'm definitely happy to be in this position and <clears throat> be here with, you know, Eddie Hunt because he wants to make the best fights happen. And I want to be part of that. And, you know, uh, he's obviously not a DAZN fighter, Jamal Charlo, but you guys have yeah. a little history. Is that a fight <laughs> where if the stars would align, you would, you would like to, to run that fight, you and Jamal Charlo? I mean, eventually, everybody's going to have to fight each other. You know, there's <clears throat> the elite fighters are starting a show, and everybody wants to see who elite fighters. There isn't any, there isn't any, uh, no more, you know, out with the old and with the new. There's no, no more Miguel Cotos. There's no Sergio, I mean, there's no Sugar Mosley's. There's none of that no more. You know, it's either you go up a weight, or you fight the guys that's, you know, the elite guys, or you, you know, try to see who's coming up. But there isn't no more making a name off somebody that's on <clears throat> on the end of their career. It's time to make a name with somebody that's in the ring. So yeah, it's gonna happen. Demetrius, despite your injury, how fast do you get back to the ring? You know, I can't. You know, <clears throat> I can't put a time on my body. So you know, unfortunately, I ain't got the fountain of youth. I wish I did. Eddie looks like he has it though. I don't know. This man right here. Shit. I'm talking. I don't know if I can hang with him too much. <laughs> maybe maybe I can walk with him because that's a, you know the attraction. How does it feel that these other fighters can't run from you anymore? Um, it feels good that um, <clears throat> you know, with the zone, Eddie, and what Eddie wants to do in the sport of boxing in the U.S. and make great fights, and I also want to get in there. There's no. There's no cap anymore, so whatever needs to be done and whatever needs to happen, I think it can happen here at the zone. And with Eddie in front line making things happen and putting pressure on people. He got to do his job and I have to do my job. I did my job today and that was a win. I get the W and it's me again. Hey. <laughs> Demetrius, I'm just curious, man, when you was training in Snack, uh, you were with Danny Jacobs. Did you guys do any sparring together or did you just kind of stay away from doing all of that? Yeah, we definitely um, got some rounds in, okay. you know, iron shopping iron, and it was good for me, it was good for him, because, you know, I, he, he kind of gave me that right hand look that I needed during the time, and he switched up a little bit southpaw, so that actually helped me for this as well, not knowing I was fighting a right handed. Oh, okay. I mean, you guys ever kind of talk about you guys might clash? You know, he's my brother. And if Eddie here says the numbers is right, <coughs> we definitely gonna get in there and make it work. You know what I'm saying? You know, so hey, man. We'll be cheering for him next Saturday. Yes, definitely. Oh. I'll definitely be there. I want to see him do his thing. Uh, I believe me and him in the ring will be a big fight for the middleweight division. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, uh, if he agrees, I agree. It takes two to tangle, you know. Is Canelo actually an easier stylistic fight for you than Jacobs? Because Jacobs, like yourself, can move the six foot like yourself. Or, or would, do you think Jacobs would be a, a tougher fight than Canelo, or is Canelo the tougher? Fight? I mean, they're both elite guys. Both of them are gonna be tough. They're, they're, they're not where they are for no reason. So, you know, once we get in there and the opportunity comes, when we're in there, we're just gonna see it and you're gonna see what happens. Tune in. That's it. That's the best I can tell people. Hey, Demetrius, how did it feel to fight in your in your backyard? It felt good, man. It felt really good, you know. Whew. When you say New England, you say Demetrius Andre now. <laughs> Not only the Patriots, Boston, Bruins, Red Sox. I made history in that in this venue today, and man, it was great, man. It was it was great to have having everybody come out supporting me and seeing like yo, I'm I'm still fresh squeezed orange juice for people in the sport of boxing, man. Like, you know, like you you can see that the boy got skills and he knows what he's doing in there. And if the opportunity comes, I'm a you know, go in there and try to shut it down. And if not, I'm gonna just stay handsome. <laughs> Eddie, um this is kind of a question for you because and I don't I know you may not know this, but uh, Murata lost tonight. Of course I know that. Well, no, I didn't know that. But <laughs> so that kind of implies that the Triple G Murata fight is is a wash. So yeah. does that kind of attract Triple G to the zone now? I think that you know I don't I don't want to sound arrogant because I think I might have given that um, effect off of the the press conference. But I said that if you want to fight Canelo or you want to fight the middleweight world champions, right. you have to be with the zone. Right. That's 
the truth. You know, if you want to fight Canelo, you have to be on the zone. Whether that's fighting Canelo on the zone or fighting on the zone previously. We've got an 11, year, 11 fight deal with Canelo. So there is no way he will not fight Demetrius Andre in those 11 fights. He has to, because he's going to run out of guys, but he has to keep winning as well. As far as Golovkin's concerned, I, I, I can't tell you what he, you know, decision he's going to make. But I know Demetrius would love a fight with Golovkin as well. And that would be a, an opportunity for Golovkin to win a world title. So, you know, I think we'll have a defense earlier this year. You're know. supposed to say, yeah. No, <coughs> he, he ain't going to have the opportunity to win the World Tag because I'm going to whoop his ass. Opportunity to try and win a World Tag. Right, that sounds better. Yeah. So Golovkin against Andre is, is, a, is a great fight. He's a promoter, guys. He's a promoter. <laughs> Andre, are you, uh, you know how Crawford is the professional franchise uh, of, 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 uh, of Nebraska? Are you like the professional franchise of Rhode Island? New England. Yeah, that's what pretty much I was saying, New England, you know. There's other sports teams out here, and if I can make you know Boston and uh, Rhode Island, of course, because it's TD. I mean, it's TD Bank, and then you got Dunkin' Donuts Center. Those are my two, um, you know, playing fields. You know, it'll be great because um, I think we can bring a lot of people to the city because Boston's a real great city to be in, and um, Rhode Island, of course. Mm -hmm. We ain't got no clubs that stay open too late, but you know what I'm saying? It's definitely a great time. We got good food, and the seafood is awesome. Demetrius, in the past, you, you said that, you know, Ducky, Ducky at 154. Now that he's, you know, a champion at 160, you're a champion at 160, do you really feel that he will actually face you? Like Eddie said, he has to fight me. If he's going to be with his own for, <coughs> what was it, five years, 11 fights or something like that? I mean, come on now. Eddie got to do his job, and I got to do my job, and that's a win, and Eddie got to, you know, Demetrius, Canelo, Canelo, Andre, Canelo, Andre. <laughs> that's it. Gang, it is 20 past 2 Woo! in the morning. Awesome. Everything is shut in Boston. Awesome. I would just like to say thank you very much for attending.